How crazy was your ex? Offending everybody. Key in my car, breaking and entering, eating my sandwich. These oh, are some crazy things that's I expect. So here's a story about the wildest person I've ever been with, named Angie. It was my third year of college, and I was heading to the woods to smoke. Oh, this is a real story. Hysterically Twin. crying. I was like, "Hey, girl, you look like you're having a rough go of it. You want to smoke some sticky icky?" She hesitates at first and says, "Sure." So we begin walking to the woods. And all Chat. Life lesson for Mikey and Aaron: Never get with the depressed. <laughs> No. Never. No facts. Never get with the with the if that if you meet them sad, leave them alone. <laughs> if you meet them sad, leave them sad. Leave them alone. Nah, this, <laughs> I, I thought he was gonna say something a little bit more, you know, constructive. Never smoke weed with somebody you nah, just nah, meet nah, in the nah, wild. Nah, that too. But I'm saying, I, I think that's if the, you meet them sad, they are not your potential partner. Do not take advantage of the situation. Just don't do it. All I could think about was how easy it'd be to kidnap her. She had no idea wow. who I was, and now we're walking somewhere where no one would hear her scream. <laughs> Talk about rookie mistake. But lucky for her, I had morals <laughs> and no rope. Anyway, she Whoa. introduced herself. Hey, I'm Angie. Pleasure to meet you, Angie. I'm Steve Storms. You're lying. Steve nope, Storms. that's my real name. That's crazy, because I have a thunderstorm tattoo in the back of my neck. I ain't no... <laughs> If that nigga named Steve Storm, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's a hard name. That is a hard that's name. A hard but there's name. no way that's. Is Steve here? Uh, Steve Storm is here. <laughs> that's right a, that's here a hero name. Right that's an X Men name. Uh, the most yeah. electrifying man in the yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> now that's a hard Why name. Why we couldn't pick that as an alien? Hold that's, on. A, that's a hard name, bro. That's a rap <laughs> name right there. That's an X Men name or it's a hub name. It's either or. Either. Push my hair aside and you'll see. So I stand behind her, palm her hair, and immediately get aroused. Johnson's whoa. like, whoa, we doing this right whoa. now? Relax, this is step one. What was that? Oh, I did a lovely tattoo. Anyway, we get to the woods, we're laughing, having a good time, when I say, so, uh, so what got y'all hot and bothered? Well, I just broke up with my boyfriend. Johnson's like, ah, get oh, him on. I said, red oh, flag number two. terrible to hear. All while barely making eye contact. She was wearing a low-cut shirt and it was cold outside. A little hard to make eye contact, you know? <laughs> Plus, drugs were- Nah, you make eye season. contact. Sober yeah. me is respectful me. High me is fun bags pretty. Wow. So after our smoke session, That's I spit some game and get her number. Now, I had planned on giving her some time to recover, as she just went through a rough breakup, mm -hmm. but after a few days of texting, my Johnson's like, put it in! <laughs> so I run her back to my place for a movie. She agrees, and for the first 20 minutes, things are going well, until right. she brings up her RA. Talk about how hot he is, and how sometimes she sneak into his room and hide under his covers. He used to say, this was a huge turnoff. My Ain't that something like the person that work in the dorm? Yeah, that's Ain't a, res a residential, residential advisor. Uh, advisor. Ugh, red flag number three. Number three. Come on, twin. What, what are the, we doing? Well, break down the first two. She was sad. Okay. Right. What was the second one? The second one was that it's a breakup. This is the okay, reason okay, that she's okay, sad. Right. Actually, it's red flag number four because the second one could technically be that she. Went into the woods to smoke with a random ass nigga that yeah, she didn't even tight know. Beat, tight so beat. we already at three. And then now we talking about the RA? Yeah, and you sneaking beat. in his. Come on, Twin. What we doing? Tight what we beat. doing? Yeah. My Johnson's like a deflated balloon. Party over. So once the movie was done, I asked her to leave. The next day, she goes back to flirt texting me, but I wasn't having it. I'm like, girl, why are you writing this to me? Shouldn't you be sending this to your RA? She goes, no, yeah. it's not women like that. We're just friends. Mikey. I'm like, yeah, okay. Then my Johnson's like, no, no, that's not, whoa. Remember those <laughs> nips? I'm like, damn, Jim Dog, you make a compelling argument. Well, I guess I could give her another chance. So I invite her over again for another movie, but this the time my roommate's not leaving. They're like, we gave you the room the other day and you dropped the ball. I'm like, that's... Mm. That's fair. Yeah, fair. Yeah, whatever. We'll just all watch it together. Ten yeah. minutes in and she starts texting me. This movie's boring. Wish we were doing something more interesting. Oh. Winky face. Oh, Start she's one of them. Let's go handle it. She's one of them. Let's go handle it. Let's get out of here, Let's go handle it. You know what I'm yeah, here, for. Know here for. I know what you're here for. On my first time stream, people, welcome to welcome, 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 oh. welcome. You, yeah, you came in on some wild stuff because this video is wild and the next video is going to be even wilder. Moment, I said out loud, hey, Ange, you want to go s*** in my room? Mm, sure. Then two quick high Whoa. fives to my roommates later and we're doing the dirty. And this chick was wild, moaning, contorting her body, whispering in my ear, you're so big. <laughs> ah, it was magical. Afterwards, I didn't smoke <laughs> cigarettes and somehow had one in my mouth. I'm like, damn, girl, that was some good f***ing. Anyway, Angie came over again a few days after and a few days after that, and then she started coming over every day. Best part uh -oh. was, she would leave afterwards. Oh, it was the dream working with no she leaving on her own and it's no commitment yet oh oh yeah no commitment as long as you don't slip up 
and get her uh, uh, yeah. pregnant or nothing like that while you were in college. Well, he what didn't, obviously. What more a college student want? Well, what I neglected to, to realize was how lazy oh. it'd make me. You see, when a guy's hunting for Kitty, he's on his A-game. Freshly trimmed, looking sharp, right. and smelling like a Very burrito true. in a nightclub. Very true. But when Kitty's guaranteed, we get lazy. I'll give Very you an example. True. Every Tuesday and Thursday, I'd go to karate in the morning. Part. Afterwards, I'd head back to my room where Angie would be in my bed waiting for me. Waiting? And normally, I'd shower first as I just sweat my balls off. But one day, she presses me up against the door and starts <laughs> me. I'm like, damn, girl, if you don't care, I don't care. And this only <laughs> maybe get lazier. Because not only did I stop showering. She's disgusting. She's nasty. That's a, she's hey. been that. Hey, she, hey, bro. She damn that's, trapped you. That's, that's a red flag number. What? 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 what, what a we, five? This, this, we on like ten already. Just, uh, just off, off the gate, bro. Yeah, that's red. She low key was crying on purpose. Like, who's gonna be the first guy to, to stop and say something? Nah, that's nutty, bro. She's a freak, bro. She ain't just break up with nobody. Showering before baby making, but I stopped showering after. That stank just be following me around. For uh. Uh. Why does it smell like sh and shame in here? And because Poon was guaranteed, I stopped hunting for Kitty altogether. Why go to the bar and spoon feed well, white claws to a chick when I already had one yeah. back in my room ready to swallow whatever I gave her? Now that, hey, let's go <laughs> dancing for 45 minutes as I dry hump you into thinking I'd be good in the bedroom, bitch is already in my bed twerking. So this continued for the rest of the semester. I mean, you got about a point. to head home for the summer. Angie texts me saying, Come to my room. We need to talk. Now, normally oh, I'd be no. freaking out, thinking she's about oh, to say, Oh, no! This is when the heart drops. Good news, you, you. I have so. Oh, I've been piping this woman for months. I right, what, what can we I ain't gonna lie, about? bro. Not showering after sex is kind of weird. Kinda. I have watched Kaiju number eight. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was trying to take it today and make it just like a watch TV day. And Mike was like, let's stream. I was like, all right, cool. You, know, it's, you, you had all day. I wanted We've been streaming for 30 I minutes. I wanted the entire day. That mean you done had till 8 p.m. in the evening nah. to watch TV. Yeah, I wanted the entire day. <laughs> you had all. I also day. tried to build that Digimon boy. I put that bitch back in the box. <laughs> that bitch, man. I thought, boy, Gundams, man. That bitch hard. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Text me saying, "Come to my room. We need to talk." Now, normally I'd be freaking out, thinking she's about to say she's pregnant, but there's no way. Cause sure, we were <laughs> talking on the regs, but she was so good at taking birth control. Every day at 4 p.m., no matter what oh. was happening, she'd snap and say, "Pills." It's not even like she oh. set alarms. She just had a okay. baby in spider sense. Time to die, kid. Okay, so I went up to her room it? and she says, "Do you want a date? Cause you'll be living off campus next year, oh, and this won't no. be as simple as going down a flight of stairs to see one another." That's a good point. You know. What? Let me think about it. So after a day of pondering, I, mean, I was working. like, oh, hell no. Because even though we had working. great chemistry in the bedroom, the bitch never laughed at my jokes. Oh. I'd be killing in the school pool, and she'd just Damn. be floating there motionless like Matthew Perry's Damn. corpse. Start oh. swimming, buddy. Anyway, Damn. I meet back up with Ange and let her down the best way I could. She seemed to take it all right, not realizing her brain was beginning to tweak. That Wait, summer I'm on Facebook, minute. posting on a bunch of hotties walls, Boy. not realizing Ange Wait a minute, she's going crazy and y'all never even dated? I mean, they, they've been fucking... They've been, yeah, but like... Damn! They be, they be going crazy, for real. Jeez! Ange was seeing this bugging the f*** out. So much so, she would call up my friends hysterically crying. Friends be like, well, you aren't dating, so what's the problem? The problem being, Ange's feelings had tied up her logic yeah. and no plans of setting them free. Bitch. Fast forward to the beginning of fall semester, and my roommates and I are having a party. Things are going great until Ange comes over and starts cock blocking the sh** out of me. She wasn't even pretending. At one point, she sits down in the middle of a Kings game going, I want to play. We're kind of in the middle of, ugh, whatever, here's some cards. So I go back to Mac and on the chick next to me when Ange says, I have to go to the bathroom. Lady Ladies, come with me. Keep in mind, she doesn't know Whoa. any of the women there. So they all Whoa. pile in the bathroom. I'm looking at the guys going, this, Whoa. this isn't good. A few minutes later, they come out and surprise, surprise, none of them want to play anymore. I'm like, Ange, what did you say to them? She goes, nothing. I'm like, all right, that's it, bitch. Get the f out. She starts to cry, pretending she's the victim, but I could care less. I knew with her around, I was never getting laid. So I said, get out of here. <laughs> a few days later, I'm walking to a bar and I see one of my friends across the street. I'm like, Adrian, Adrian. He looks at me and keeps walking. But my drunk ass is like, well, maybe he didn't Recognize me. So I run over and I'm like, hey, homie. Adrian was being real apprehensive. What did she I'm do? Like, What's wrong, man? Did what did she do? Horrible? If I did, I'm sorry. Nah, I, I thought you were angry at me. Why would I be angry at you? Well, Ange said, ah, that bitch is crazy. crazy. But he oh. That's the worst type of shorty. Oh, the worst kind. That's the worst type well, person, of person. 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 We've gotten this on both sides, actually. Yeah, uh, at, well, a, a, a little bit recent, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, a little too recent, actually. Oh, Motherfucker, sick oh. fucks. <laughs> Yeah, uh, whoo. There's been so many red flags during this whole time that they was porking for these months. I'm pretty sure he's seen some stuff that should have led him to just, but once again, she was nasty.
Yeah. When they nasty like that, I understand why they might have been hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But damn, twin. What well, others break, it just make me big. <laughs> I thought you were angry at me. Why would he be angry at you? Well, Ange said, that, that, which is crazy. crazy. But even though we hashed things out, I was still super pissed. Because if Ange is telling this guy I don't want to speak to him, yeah. he's probably doing it to others. Now I'm missing out on connections and experiences because some is lying about me? Oh, I was heated. So drunk me thought, what is the meanest thing I could do right oh, now? No. I could call no, her no, some no, basic no, 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 insult no, 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 like punt no, 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 or bore, but no, I'm crafty no, 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 no. and I could do better than that. Then it hit me. You see, the last time we were and I thought, you know what? This doesn't feel that tight. So while I was doing her, I stuck in a finger, then two fingers, huh? then I stuck my huh? whole hand. Now granted my hand was curled, but that's still a lot of digits to cram in a clean. Huh? And that's when I came up with the greatest nickname ever, Whole Hand Ange. Oh, it's the chef's kiss of an- This nigga's evil. He's evil. He's this evil. nigga's evil. Tip number two, folks. If she's crazy, just escape. Don't be petty back. It's not gonna go. Yeah, bro. Just walk, go. walk away, bro. Just walk the fuck away. Walk away, Separate. bro. Separate. Walk away, bro. As much as humanly possible. Walk away, bro. You don't be petty with a crazy nigga man. Nigga transfer school. <laughs> Bowman, appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate Bowman easy. Don't do it, man. She might be annoyingly crazy, but please don't. That's not a battle you're going to win. Yeah, Insults. So I text Angie that her new nickname around campus is Hand Ange. He told her that! He has to say, she did not take it very well. And text back literal death threats. What? <laughs> really? She really brightened up my day, you know? The next day, I get a text from a number I don't recognize. And it turns out it's Angie's sister. She goes on this huge rant of, you have no idea who you're messing with. Oh, and the I'll whole ruin family your life crazy? For disrespecting my sister. Now, of course, I showed my homies who all had a good laugh. And now we're spitballing ideas of things to write back when I say, hey, how about I respect your sister? I wash my hand before playing her like a puppet. Even my buddies are like, bro, <laughs> that might be a little much. So I wrote it out and was about to send when I started to have second thoughts. Because normally my brain always picks the funny option, regardless of how much trouble will get me in. Tis my how to your high school teacher video. But in this one moment, I thought, you know what? I probably should let this go. However, yeah. I didn't let anything else go. Over the next few weeks, I'd get DMs from guys on Facebook threatening to beat the shit out of me, and I'd always respond back with, you are adorable. Because I get they're trying to protect someone who's spoon-feeding them lies, but threatening someone on Facebook is like a 10 with herpes. Flashy at first oh. glance, but oh. ultimately worthless. Oh it's also funny that y'all can see the bump. I'm harassing her, as she's encouraging <laughs> people to harass me. Like, damn girl, you don't see any projection here? So, like, let's just put it out there. Steve Storm's been crazy before the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Steve Storm's been a monster, bro. He's been a monster. Steve Storm's been He's a problem. He's doing all of this without having a YouTube channel in which he tells stories. Hey, Steve, I fuck with you, twin. <laughs> He's been a monster, bro. Steve, that my dog. Hey, Steve, my dog, for real. <laughs> I'm a, I remember hey. Steve from up the block. <laughs> I'm like, I, 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 AP Biology with Steve. I know niggas was like, the storm is coming, the storm is coming. What? <laughs> a what's, storm's what's brewing. Like? Nah, a storm's, nigga, that nigga got a beer. A storm's <laughs> brewing. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Wait. Why is there a bald gorilla on my screen and keep it up and love you? Type it. Type B. Okay, appreciate you. Uh, kind of, sort of, maybe. And even though she seemed hyper fixated on me, I could care less about her. Because no matter how many times we s***ed, I never loved her. So I didn't have this uh, emotional man. desire to get revenge. But I did enjoy seeing her. Because every time we'd bump into each other, she'd scream, I f***ing hate you! And just think for oh, a so moment how much power it is. My oh, mere man. presence is enough to ruin someone's Damn. day? <laughs> <laughs> it made me he so happy. This too much. But this only added to Angie's insanity, and in December, I get a phone call from Campus PD telling me to come down to the station. Oh, Obviously, no. I'm really nervous, because 95% of the time, when uh -huh. a girl says a guy's harassing her, she's right. But luckily, the cops were very reasonable. A okay. woman named Angie is claiming you're harassing her. Now, we've heard her side of the story. We'd like to hear yours. So the first thing I told him is we used to have s*** in the regs. Wait a minute. You used to have a romantic relationship? Yeah. Why do you think all this is happening? The cop just rolls his eyes and says, oh, continue. Then I showed him all the threatening <laughs> texts and messages I got, and by the end of it, the officer was completely on my side. However, because police were called on a student, I also had to go speak to the director of student affairs. And this bitch was the polar opposite. Before Aww. I said anything, she just starts listing threats. Harassment to students will not be tolerated. You could be expelled for blah, 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 blah. After minutes of listening to this chick rant, I said, so you've only heard one side of a story and immediately came to a conclusion? Huh, I didn't realize an accusation was a conviction. Maybe you should take some of my criminal justice classes and see how gathering evidence is important when it comes to a potential crime. He used to say she was pissed, but I just of sat there arms was. crossed like, I know you got nothing, bitch. Fast forward to Valentine's okay. Day, and I'm dating this lovely girl named Rachel. We're both She's walking on campus, holding hands, when we bump into Angie, who goes ballistic. Screaming, f*** you, f*** 
you, you piece of shit. My girl starts chewing her out, saying, he doesn't want your stinky cooter anymore, you flat-faced bitch. I'm laughing, whoa, dragging my whoa, girl away, whoa. saying it's not worth it. <laughs> Just ignore her. The next day, I get another call from campus police, so I go down to the station and speak to the same officer who says, so we got more complaints of harassment. Officer, I've done my best to avoid her, and in the time I've spoken to you, I've only bumped into her once on Valentine's Day when I was with my girlfriend. Officer was trying to remain professional, but I could tell he's like, ugh. I can't believe I gotta deal with this nonsense. A week later, I, I get a call from Ange saying, we need to talk. I'm thinking she's gonna try to bury the hatchet. Nope. Turns out her paranoia was at max, and she says, I know you keep stalking me, and if you don't stop, I'll be forced to take legal action. At first, I mean real new- Oh, so she's crazy crazy. Bro, I hate people. She's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I hate puffs. people. She's cuckoo for I Cocoa Puffs. I hate people, bro. TTS is not off. It's been going off this whole time. I hate people. Oh, my God. She's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Neutral, saying, Ange, I'm not stalking you or harassing you or, quite frankly, care what you do. But she is adamant, saying, You think I'm making this up? You think I'm crazy? No, I got f***ing witnesses. I said, listen, what I'm witnesses? not going crazy, but calling the cops on Valentine's Day when you see me holding hands with another girl is, um, a little cray-cray. Then she starts threatening my career at the time, saying, You know, if I file charges against you, you'll never be a cop. That's when my brain snapped uh -oh. to sarcasm. Uh -oh. I'm like, damn, girl, I didn't think six and a half inches was enough to lose your mind over. Oh, wow. Yet, here we are. Now, I know I'm a god at f***ing, but you're going to have to find a new prophet, okay? Whole hand, Ange. <laughs> and guys, to this day, I have never seen someone so angry. She couldn't even form words. Come she on, just Steve. sat there shaking, Bars, going... We... <laughs> <laughs> That's when I knew it was time to dip. Like Nate. Bruh. Bruh. If we being honest, chat, this bitch is crazy. She's more so like... She cuckoo. She's cuckoo. cuckoo yeah, right? mentally just Mentally lost. ill. This nigga is... Crazy. <laughs> he. That's my dog, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna. Hey, 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 I ain't gonna let you talk about Steve Storm like that, bro. Steve, my dog, bro. Steve Storms likes me and Steve go back, bro. I ain't gonna let you talk. I ain't gonna let you talk about my dog. Y'all shooting scenes together, running bruh. trains. Nah, we wasn't doing none of that, bro. <laughs> oh, you fucking gay. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, bro. bro. You know what I'm, saying? I'm talking about my dog like that. I'm just bro. saying he likes this type of stuff. That's yeah, what I was. And I, and, bro, every every uh, you know, chaotic positive or chaotic. I don't want to fix her if she ain't crazy. I don't want her. Book like vibes. this crazy is oh. crazy though. This crazy is is past fixing. Nah, You're not look, fixing look, that. Look, leave him. Leave him. Leave him yeah. vibes. She just sat there shaking, going, <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> That's when I knew it was time to dip. About a month later, I get a call from my friend Nora, who just so on. happens to be Angie's at least roommate. You know Nora she invites me over a place, and I'm like, Is this a trap? She's like, No, Angie's gone for the weekend, so it's just me here. I'm like, Oh, all right. So I go, Don't go. False. Don't go. Death Shadow. False. Don't because go. she will cheat on you and still be this crazy. Yeah, facts. Don't they go. will play the victim. To dip. About a month later, I get a call from my friend Nora, who just so happens to be Angie's roommate. Nora invites me over her place, and I'm like, is this a trap? She's like, no, Angie's gone for the weekend. So it's just she got cameras. Like, oh, all right. So I go over, and we're hanging out for a bit. When she casually mentions, you know, I found your schedule in Angie's desk. I'm like, what? She goes, here, this is your schedule, right? And I'm looking go at it going, go holy go shit. Angie broke into my place. Nora's like, what are you talking about? I said, because one day I came home, and the kitchen window was open. I go to my roommate, and I'm like, Jake, why did you open the kitchen window? You know, like, it's busted and super hard to close. I didn't open it. Bro, you're the only one here, and it's not like we got robbed, because our laptops and TV are still here. But little did I know, she someone did in. break in, because that nah. same day, my schedule was missing off my wall. That's when Nora says, also, I probably should have told you this sooner, but one day I caught Ange next to your car. Wait, what? Oh. I was heading over your place at night when I caught Ange bent over by your car. I asked what she was doing, but she just played dumb. I'm like, God damn it, because someone keyed my car. Oh. I just thought it was some drunk asshole. That's some crazy bitch. Now, luckily, Jeez, I didn't have any more interactions with Ange and thought it was all behind me. That was until about a year later when I was working at Bed Bath & Beyond. I had recently threw up my lower back and was super uh. depressed, just uh. unloading boxes, when I get a phone call from my old roommate, Jake. Jake is like, hey, Steve, listen, I, I shouldn't be telling you this, but um, I just thought you should know, Ange is pregnant. Whoa, huh? what? 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 Yeah. what? And actually, I was wondering, um, do you think it's yours? What? No, we haven't smashed in like two years. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was getting worried for a second. <laughs> but Jake, you know what this means, right? That you won't be a father? Well, of course that, but it means she trapped someone. What? She trapped mm. someone, Jake. She was so distraught over the fact I could just with her for over a year and have no feelings that she found a way to yeah. make someone stay forever. What if she just forgot to take birth control? She never forgets to take birth control, Jake! Besides, it's so effective even if you forget to take it for a few days. She traps someone and it could have been me jake this crazy no. bitch could have ruined my life <laughs> but instead i get to live and see a sunrise You're free. one more time glad You're i can free. make a day steve now go live buddy i will i will jake
Did this bitch just send me a friend request? Oh my god. Mm, you know what you want to do. Oh my oh god. My. I'll never get over this outro. Uh, at least he's done with her. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that crazy. That ain't bitch. the one you yeah, want, bro. bro.